Hmm. Life is rough right now, guys. Okay. Can't catch a break. So, we're at the hospital. Kilo has, I'm trying to set you up so I can do this quick, but you know. We're at the hospital. Kilo has been peeing blood for the last month and he's been having some pain. And I didn't know about this because he was keeping it a secret or maybe not trying to worry anybody but um he called his doctor and his doctor had him come in she said this is concerning we don't know what this is it could be a kidney stone but he swears it doesn't feel like kidney stone pain so she sent him for basically an emergency sonogram x-ray something and <sighs> worries are high and so that's for this morning, so let's see what happens. I'll let you know. My name's Kylie. Hi, Kylie. So I came to the car because now we are waiting. He is waiting for an x-ray. And we're both anxious. I'm nervous because I don't know what's going on. He's nervous because he doesn't know what's going on. And we're both kind of just being annoying with each other. So while I was editing, I realized I didn't really get into detail about, before we get into the whole situation about us annoying each other, I just want to put like a disclaimer, okay? Kilo has just started, no, he didn't just start. He's been working, uh, going on two months now, okay? This new job. Well, this week he is taking over a shift for the manager because she wanted to go on vacation. So for the past two weeks, Kilo's hours are five o'clock in the morning. He goes in, okay? So he was waking up at 4.30, no problem, whatever. He got it, he started, you know, figuring it out, getting up early on time, getting into the gist of things. And then it was time to train to take over the manager's hours and in order to do that, he had to wake up at 1 o'clock in the morning, okay? And he did it. He did it. He had to do it for a couple of days. He did it, okay? But then he had to go in for 3 o'clock for the whole entire week. So he was basically going in at 3 o'clock in the morning, doing her job and doing his job, okay? Two people's jobs, in a span of let's say nine hours okay so he is very very tired overwork underpaid and stressed okay so I have been really trying to be understanding as a wife you know but it's been hard it's been hard because I know and then and then with this whole rash thing so now he's like oh he has his rash again two guys his rash came back so he's dealing with the rash, he's dealing with the um, the kidney stones, and he's dealing with being like sleep deprived. So now that you know that, we'll continue. And so I had told him, you know, maybe he should get, he should call his doctor's office and get sent the link to the portal so that, you know, his doctor could message him and he could see his results and stuff because he still doesn't have one. And, I think I think that link is like super 
like useful sometimes so I figured we were just waiting and so he you know he starts looking at me some kind of way and I'm like okay he's getting annoyed so I'm um, like I know that I can't go in I'm really anxious um, I know that I can't go in with him and it's like I'm just sitting there pondering in my thoughts and just feeling like um, you know I'm better to be outside away I told him if he needs me then just call me and I'll come in other than that I'll be in the car so I just smoked a cigarette and just kind of just waiting I know if there's any kind of emergency situation he'd he's at the right place that he'll call me and he'll call me and I'll go back in but I don't really know what's happening from now so anyway, I'm in the car, guys. And I just went to the bathroom again. Oh. I just went in the bathroom again, right? Does anybody ever feel like this? Like, oh, shit. By the way, I am, like, recouping. My iron is very depleted, and I feel exhausted. But um, have you ever went into the bathroom, like a public bathroom, and somebody took a mean doo-doo? And the, the, the potency of their crap is so strong that you feel like you're actually, like, breathing in their poop particles. That's what just happened to me. <clears throat> so, I'm in the bathroom, and I'm, like, breathing this shit in. And I'm, like, oh, my God. So, I hurry, and get, um, I, I hurry up because I'm, like, oh, my God. I feel like I'm just breathing in their poop. I know I'm not the only one. Comment below. Do you feel like that? Like, do you feel like their poop particles are just getting in your system? So I came out and I'm like drinking water and stuff and now I'm like coughing. Like I have like an itch in my throat. I feel like it's their poop particles. Stuck in my in, in my body. I don't know. I feel like the month is catching up to me with everything that has happened between my son. You know, if you don't know, like I I've just recently went through like a, I, I've been kind of like advocating for my son and some core issues and it's not easy. I'm trying, trying to keep it together guys. In the meantime, trying to keep it together in my own head. Trying to keep it together for everyone else. <sighs> anyway, he should be out soon, hopefully. Hopefully it's just a kidney stone. But it's just weird that it's been going on. I just... I, I read up on some things. And a while back, when we went to the kidney doctor, I had asked if kidney stones could have anything to do with his hives his rash and the kidney stone doctor told me the kidney doctor told me no it's separate right his immune disorder is separate from his kidney but then I looked it up because it seems like most of the time when he gets hives he has a problem with his kidney stones. So I looked it up and this is what it said. So my thing is, why would the doctor say that kidneys don't have anything to do with rash? But then I looked this up and it says, if you have kidney disease and Kilo has had chronic kidney stones, he is labeled chronic uticardia, something like that. Basically chronic kidney stones. And chronic hives so if they don't connect I need some answers guys and it's like I know that if I'm not in the office like he doesn't remember but then again I don't want to be in the office because last time I was in the office he was saying I was talking too much so like I can't win so I'd rather not just I'd rather not be there 
So he just got out of work. He went in at 3 o'clock. He got out at 8.30. He got out early. He's covering for a lady who was on vacation this whole entire week. And he is just so miserable right now. Like, he liked his job. When he first started, he liked his job. It was great. Like, you know, his hours from 5. And he goes in at 5. He gets out at 12.30. He was okay with that. He was still tired. He was getting used to it. And then the lady had asked him, you know, to cover for her on vacation. And they know. They know. You, you know, when people see you have a good worker and a dedicated worker, sometimes I feel like they can try to abuse that. So... Anyway, he's been covering. He's covering for her this whole week. So I, pr I, I pray that he's still able to keep his obligation because he will, he will feel bad if he can't do what he said he was going to do for the lady. It will put her in a pickle. Um, but at the same time, like he got to, he has to take care of himself because he can't work if he ain't good, right? So. Anyway, I'll get back to you guys. Thanks for listening. Seven centimeters, as well as some smaller stones in both of your kidneys. Okay. Um, so, Glorina said you do need to follow up with urology. Um, she did refer you yesterday. Um, I do see that they sent the referral up to the office. It looks like you're already established with our urology office. Um, so, they should be reaching out to you tomorrow to schedule an appointment. Should you take the... OPD basically is... I mean, that, that's what I did today at the uh, the hospital, right? The uh, ultrasound and the x-ray? You did the ultrasound, yep. So urology, they'll evaluate you. Um, they might order some additional imaging, potentially like a CAT scan to look at the smaller stones in, okay. in the kidneys. Um, and then they can advise, you know, if there's anything that they want to do about the 1.7. Guys, why did I just hear? I thought it was a 0.7. I just now heard, thank God I record everything. I just now heard that it's a 1.7 millimeter kidney stone. I'm pretty sure he's going to have to get some type of blasting or surgery. That's great. Sorry it's so dark, but I'm editing this video. I wanted to close out the video and let you guys know that the kidney doctor, the specialist, has not called back yet, uh, but they are due to call him and set up for this appointment. I will let you guys know uh, what's going to happen, but that lady is really lucky that he is able to finish out her freaking week for her, okay? She better be really happy because she has no idea what this one man is going through just to keep his word just saying i'll let you guys know thanks for listening i love you mucho until the next video um i'm gonna keep you guys updated and let you know what's gonna happen <sighs>